Hello! Who remembers the Mega Duck then? Well, any of you who saw my video on it, I suppose. But it's an old Game Boy clone from back in the day, German made with a crazy name and a really bad, very, very low res screen resolution, my ass, and games that frankly were a little bit on the shite side. Anyway, if you watched that video and spent the whole time thinking, hmm, I really wish they'd made an educational computer based around this, well, you've got your weird wish, to say the least. Welcome to the Mega Duck Computer. Yes, this is real. I didn't just go to a mad plastics factory and demand they made one. Yep, our old friends Hartung Games in Berlin. It's gonna be fun because the whole thing's in German I speak no German whatsoever. Um, yeah, they saw a Mega Duck and thought let's stick a lot of crazy shit on it and make it some kind of educational thing, kind of. Well, let's have a look at it, shall we? On the front you've got the word Mega Duck. It's in red. Fun, isn't it? Um, at the side here you have a what I presume is a headphone port. I actually never used that one. On the side here, you've got uh, a little switch here, which I believe selects uh, between cartridges, for there are two cartridge slots. Ooh, two of your favourite Game Mega Ducks games at the same time. Who could live with such excitement? Answer anyone. You've got your controller port for your pretend mouse that's actually just a controller. Yep, <clears throat> don't worry, it gets worse. And on the back, you can open up and you've got your Drucker Anschluss, which is indeed a printer. Yes, really, I'll show you in a minute. Another connector, which is just marked, uh, marked, oh, it's marked connector. That's useful. And a mains plug, because frankly, this thing eats the four C cells that it takes underneath there as if they were jolly, jolly candies that got rid of all its woes. Yep, this is a heck of a thing. Right, open it up and you've got a tiny screen. You've got... <laughs> Annoyingly, um, you can't quite make... I'm gonna have to bring it in. I think you, you've really got to see the Mega Duck logo. Because the Mega Duck logo, for anybody uh, of a certain age who is English, will recognise that's clearly Ed the Duck. It's just Ed the Duck, a crap drawing of, they've drawn a cape on. Mmm, copyright. Well, it's a supercomputer, it says so. I believe that's volume, if I remember. That is uh, the contrast, or indeed the brightness of the screen, such as it is. Power, battery Lear, which I believe means battery empty. It's a light! You'll be seeing a lot if you are to use one of these. For there is a light, and it never goes out, and it ain't this. Um, you've got a horrible little keyboard here, many, many F keys, on, on and off, and some other... Th wait, see, what's all this? No, surely not. Oh, uh, <laughs> everything you could ever want. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, that's, that's a... Uh, wow. Just think of getting one of these for Christmas, uh, and then probably hiding under a log the rest of your life. Anyway, <clears throat> it is a printer. It prints. It's literally a till roll printer, an old thermal one. And I can tell you that because um, when this was lent to me, there was no paper with it, and I just bought some till roll receipts for old till roll printers, and they fitted absolutely perfectly. Well, there we are. You, you can't blame them for reusing technology. Well. <sighs> Blimey. So let us attempt to discover this thing together, friends, because frankly, it's going to be quite interesting. I am um, for the game I'm going to put in, I will put in Armor Force. Because, of course, Armor Force is a classic of the genre. If only I had something really good like Snake Roy. Oh, wait! Oh, yes. It's Mega Duck Classic Snake Roy. There was a Game Boy version of this later, I shit you not. It's just got the best cover in the history of the world, isn't it? A really disgruntled Dark Souls boss. Um, basically, the plot of Snake Roy is King Roy's been turned into a snake. They ain't happy about it. You ever play that uh, snake game on Nokia? Yeah, you played this then. Just let that art sink in for another second. Imagine if one day you saw that in the mirror. Anyway, time to put this in. Uh, which one's A and which one's B? Um, I'm going to go for this one. Oh, go in. Oh, wait. Do I have to flick something? Does this work? I'm not even worried about breaking it now. I can't remember how I got these in before. Let's try on this one. Uh, yay! It's in now. Oh, yes. Right, I understand. Does that lock it in? Does that one lock it in? 
What, what is going on with this thing? It's just like a physical nothing. Hmm, maybe something else fits in there. Is that something specific that fits in there? Oh, no, I can't get it to work. Who cares? It's in now. <clears throat> and I'm sure that means we can play the jolliness of Snake Roy to our heart's content. Now, I'm going to have to try and work out how the hell we're going to film this screen. Because I can't move it that much closer to the camera. Oh, zoom. Zoom. Buck Rogers and the planet of Zoom. And that is about as good as we're going to get, I think. It looks slightly wonky, but hey. That's life. And now we turn it ein. Oh, look at that. Bit of flickering, but you can almost make it out. Can we alter this? Does it make it better or worse? Well, it didn't make it better, friends. Um, I think there is probably the sweet spot. Well, I'm going to use the keyboard to control and possibly change something else later. So let's see what features we've got then. We've got a clock. Uh, yes, it's a clock. Well, it thinks it's the 1st of June, 1993. So I'm guessing that's when this was made. There we are. We're like forensic scientists or something. I'm going to escape out of that because we don't care about clocks. We just don't care much for the calendars. Yep, that, that's, that's certainly a calendar. Ooh, but what is this? Not a calculator of which the gods spoke. Yep. Oh, finally, I can find out what 7 plus 3 is. 7 plus 3 equals... It's bloody 10. I never would have guessed. I thought it was a picture of a chicken. Well, that's something. Fourth function. We're skipping through these for good reason. Oh my god, notes is blo It's not... I, was gonna say, I thought it was an art program for a second. No, it's literally just notes. How does one... Uh... No. Not entirely sure how you begin this. Druck. There's a print button. I'm going to turn the printer on. What happens if I just press Druck now? Oh, yep, the printer is working. Mm, nothing. Interesting. Um, uh, uh, I'm going to give up on this now. <clears throat> that was the notice block. It's like a note block for people who don't have anything to note down whatsoever. Oh, no, this is more interesting. It's a thing. It is. I don't know what that means. Your something words or something. What I, I don't know what that means. I'm going to put in. Oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Got to capitalise bum. Uh, and then I'm going to put in uh, falsch bomb. What? What? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. What this is. There's German speakers at home just going, "Oh come on now," or, or that in German, which is. Um, a phrase I don't even have a clue of. Um, my school didn't teach German, it's all Spanish instead. That's dull, isn't it? Um, potato. Falsch Pretaren, Packel. Okay, shall we put in a German word? Ooh. See, I've got to try and think of a German word now. Which are ones that have leaked through into English? The only ones I can remember from school are things from the old World War II book, and the things like Achtung der Spitfire Schweinhund and things like that. Um, How's about Actung? Means danger or warning, I believe. Oh, that's a Rickstig Buchstabdiet. Does that mean I've spelt it correctly? I have no idea what this is doing, but I love it. Right, that's enough of that. Out we come. Next up, it's Scary Face Dude. Game. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Minus plus. Oh, they're maths games. Oh, well, let's have a quick go at plus. Stuff one. Yeah, I know that feeling. But, yeah, okay. Oh, 8 plus 7. Last time I checked it was 15. I'd better say that, I suppose. It speaks! The voice of the devil is inside it, brothers! This is 30, I believe. Yes, very good. They answered that one. Oh my goodness, 78. Talk to me, senpai. Let's get one wrong and see what it says. Wait for it. Uh -uh. I, wow. That's more speech than I was expecting. Let's jump out of that. And I'm guessing these are just all different ones. What a little car is here. That's quite interesting. Oh, that's leave. Well, <sighs> that was a thing that happened. Um, is this doodles? Is this drawings? Zeichnen. Let's get the Zeich nest. Pool. Pool for you. Oh, right. Hang on. I'm going to get the old controller out now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, it's like an etch sketch but worse somehow. 
What does B do? There we are. What a work of art that is. I call it piece of shit. Or we should call it piece of shizer or something, shouldn't we, really? Well, <clears throat> that, that's modern art for you. Um, do we want to save it, maybe? Ya yeah or nine? I'm going to go for nine, because nobody ever wants to see that again as long as the world lives, frankly. Um, that was the doodles. What next we got on here? BP. Ah, oh, we can learn about oil in German. Or get some battle words. Basic programming. No way. Oh, man, right. Our program is called... Fonz. Oh, man. Z and Y. The other way around. German keyboard, you see. Yeah. Right, Fonz. Basic programming. Uh, 10 print E. I use the semicolon at the end. It's that advanced programming. Will we get this in? 20. Oh, I forgot to have spaces at the start. Never mind. Go to 10. Run. <coughs> Run. Hang on. Can I just type in any old thing? Yes. Is it actually... Can we Zurich? Enter... Let me try different buttons. None of them are doing anything. <laughs> um... Yeah. <laughs> Date Nick to get certain nine. Well, I was really hoping we could run a basic program there. If it does have a little simple version of basic in, that's fantastic. That's like genuinely a good thing. You don't need much computing power to have, you know, for one if or for n equals one to ten print potato next n and all that kind of stuff. Oh well. Right, we are leaving now. Nine. Oh wait, I think I've got to say ya to that one. Yeah. Man, that was a thing, wasn't it? How surprising. Oh, man, the next one's a piano. See? Right, uh, let's just do the first one. Amazing. Hang on. Hang on. Yay! There we are. A few bars of all your favourite carols. Um, I've got to say, it doesn't work very well. The, the notes are a little bit too sustained, and while one note is playing, another cannot. But hey, it's a little toy for the kids, isn't it? Except this thing probably cost a fucking fortune. Um, next up, what is this? Question mark. Melody Valen? Valen? No idea. One. Please. And also, thank you. Spiel function starten. Now we are talking. Um, a f uh, this one. Okay. F sharp five. I'm pressing it. <laughs> how many times do you have to press it? What is it teaching me? It's teaching me how to hate. No, no more of that. What is this one? Melody again. One. Go for it. Now I get it. It wanted me to press it twice. And there we have it. Right. It's all making sense now. What all that is? Is this a record where you play and then play it back? Because that would be amazing. Or well, maybe it just does nothing. I've named Benden. No, not getting that one. Oh well. And finally the little car, which I believe means exit. Well, interesting function, but what's this? Squares, you say? Shrees program, right program? Oh, don't tell me they've tried to stick a... Why do they stick word processors on everything? Answer, because it's easy and free. Hello. I am in... Hell. This took oh, me there. Man, 
it's so hard to type it's unbelievable but anyway that's how i'm going to type all my business letters from now on obviously and print them on <laughs> this thing what does this thing do i can't quite it's got these two druck buttons oh oh god i've set it off Holy shit, it's printing the menu. Does it just print whatever's on the screen? I could have printed my beautiful artwork earlier. This is astonishing. Go on, keep going. Don't stop now. Ah, I know the point of this. Because you can't see what's on the screen because the contrast is so poor and it's such a cheap piece of crap. You can print it and then refer to it later to see what all the icons and things are. Can you just print the screen at any point? I'm going to try printing a screen of Snake Roy. That could make my day. Well, it seems to have finished. Wow. Wow. Well, it's done a good job. I mean, it's, it's just black and white, I suppose, with maximum contrast. So, well, absolute contrast, really. And there, there we are. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. What is the question mark? The Book of Mystery. It is uh, word writing and something printer and start printer okay that's interesting so if i type in hell's bells which is the name of my grandmother's uh clan in world of warcraft okay that sits there <laughs> what was that what's it done with it this is weird all right let's try something else um jeremy oh no 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 Space doesn't really doesn't like working. Paxman in, invoke the name of the beast. Yeah, there's no space, is there? It from the text, which I, I must admit I don't understand fully, obviously, but it sounds like you type a word and it prints it or something. That hasn't kind of happened. Draken, Turducken. Oh, I've done it now. I press Druck. It's printing. What is it printing? It's, it's coming out blank. Ah, oh, it's printing the entire contents of the screen. Well, I suppose we're going to have to wait this now, aren't we? So, how are you all doing? Yeah, I'm not too bad. It's very hot in here today, I've got to say. Um, we're having a very hot weather at the moment, and it's, uh, yeah, the heat's uh, really, really cooking this room. Fortunately, the Mega Duck is so cool that it's keeping me fresh and funky. Please hurry up and finished. Come on. I want a screenshot of Snake Roy or my life will not be complete. Does exactly what it says on the tin screen thing. Right. <clears throat> that's an odd one, that. I really can't tell what that's supposed to be doing. But never mind. And the last one has got to be a picture of a cartridge. That's got to be it, surely. Module. Mega Duck. Funky! Snake Roy! Oh, amazing. Hang on. I'm so drucking this. Oh, I don't think you can. Oh, no! I wanted the Snake Roy title screen. What else would anybody want out of life? Oh, curse you, Mega Duck! It's a phrase I use surprisingly often. Right, start. Oh, I think I may have to use the controller here. Yep. Oh, look at this! Oh, print this! Print this! No! So, we got somebody walking along the screen. I'm guessing a, that is that Roy? Is it a princess? Is it somebody with a massive horn growing out of the head that's going to have it surgically removed because it's causing them to lose balance? Music's uh, kind of competent, I suppose, is the nicest thing we can say here. Um, yep, this, this this scene is still going on. Go on, Roy. Go on, mate. Keep it going. Keep it going, Roy. You really do need to keep going. You know, don't, don't, don't be worried that you're boring us or anything, mate. Oh, wait, he's, fa he's, he's reached the king or something. Hang on, is this a wizard? And is Roy the one who's got here? Yes. Who are you? A woman who will replace you. <laughs> says Jada. <gasps> Not Jada Pinkett Smith. 
What? Young King, as long as you step down, you won't be hurt. I I'm quite enjoying the concept of a mega duck um, cutscene. Nonsense! I spell badly. You will pay for your obstinacy. How did she get in? You, you don't know what you're saying. Ha ha, you're looking for trouble. Man, they're really padding the uh, text out here, aren't they? God! God! I imagine that's what she's saying there. Oh, Jade has turned into a skull and has zapped Snake Roy in the knee. Help me, help me, help me! I will make your life a hell! Be Wanderer, King Roy! <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, and he's turned into a load of balls like an old Amiga demo. Well. That's amazing. I genuinely enjoyed that, apart from the bit where she walked forever. Oh well, time for a little bit of the old Snake Roy. Oh yeah. I've got to say, it's actually easier for once to actually see what's going on through the viewfinder than the actual screen. I can't see anything in real life. So I'm guessing, eat all the dots, don't not eat the dots. It's nice and smooth, isn't it? What does the S do? Oh, stop? Mm, I don't know. I do remember the Mega Duck being one of the better clones, but um, the screen does kill it, frankly. You can kind of see what's going on here, so it ain't too bad. All it took were three LED panels at different angles. Go on, Roy! What a game. What a man. What a snake. Yeah, well, all right, we get, get get the impression, yeah. Start. Oh, look at this. Are there any enemies or things later? You don't seem to be getting any quicker or anything. Eat the coins. So basically, uh, King Roy is turned into a snake and has to expand himself by eating lots of radioactive pills and swallowing coins. It's a tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme. Roy and Jada the annoying skeleton woman. Um, oh no, oh, oh. it's not the easiest of the controllers. Oh, hey, down the hole, Roy. I just want to see what the next level looks like. Then we shall stop playing on the grounds this may cause death of the spirit and the soul. And there it is. Can we print this? Please print this. No! It won't print it. Ooh, how do we get back? I think we'd have to ouse it. Then I'll iron it again. And maybe we can draw some beautiful art and print that out as a little finality for us. Uh, and we're going to call it Biop because they're all led together on the keyboard. <laughs> See, uh, just just go with the feel. That's uh, nice, isn't it? A little, little bit of a square area here. See, there's, there's sort of a heart shape in the middle, but a very loose one. You know, we don't want to be too obvious with our uh, metaphors and imagery. Uh, you know, just draw a happy little uh, squirrel in the corner here. There we are. That's, uh, that's a beautiful squirrel. The diagonals, are, of course, are uh, a uh, reference to uh, the classic painter Paul Klee. And there we are. That will do us. I think now we will print it. Yeah, it prints now. Oh, if you could print screenshots. That would be the greatest thing ever. Maybe there is a way. Maybe when we all die and go to heaven, they'll be given us a mega duck and say, <laughs> now you can print all your... You are not going to believe this, what's coming out of this printer. Clearly, I have tried to use light grey lines, and it hasn't sat very well with the printer. The printer can only interpret very dark lines. Because... Uh, yep, absolutely amazing. So, uh, we've got the lines at the bottom, or the icons at the bottom, but we haven't actually got the frickin' drawing. A pox on you. Well, ouse. What can we say 
that hasn't already been said about the Mega Duck supercomputer? The answer is pretty much anything, frankly, because nobody seems to know it exists. Big thank you to Elliot for lending it to us, by the way. Um, blimey. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not perhaps as ridiculous an idea as I thought originally. If this was sold cheap and kids could do sort of basic maths things on and that. The thing is, there is actually more to this than... Um, it's letting it do really, or it could do a lot more, couldn't it? Although it's not got much poke in it, you could have more complicated maths problems and slightly more interesting uh, musical keyboard stuff than it's letting you do really. I don't know. It's weird. It, when I first saw it, I thought it was just going to be the most ridiculous thing ever, but it turns into something almost of a missed opportunity. Um, especially if you can get the basic thing working. I mean, maybe little, uh, uh, you know, little Jimmy would have had uh, quite good fun with it. I don't really know. Well, I say little Jimmy, it's more like the little Gunter or something, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, overall, I've got to say, it's still a bit crap. It's one of these things... Yeah, I mean, you could have bought the games for it in the shop. You see, I, I can almost see it working, but they just didn't quite get there, did they? And they've just made this bizarre oddity. That and the, the weird way this just prints literally whatever's on the screen, including the goddamn icons around the outside. And it can't print the grey, which means the bloody art programme is effectively useless. So well done there, guys. But... Oh well, it's an interesting slice of history from a time where sanity was optional, unlike today where of course sanity is strictly prohibited. Subscribe for more.